Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're here, you're probably wondering how to get those coveted 3D delts. You know, those rounded, sculpted shoulders that make you look broader and more defined from every angle. Well, in today's video, we're going to dive into the science of how to build your delts step by step with exercises and tips backed by research. Let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the deltoid muscle itself. The deltoid is the large triangular muscle that caps your shoulder. It's actually made up of three distinct parts, the anterior, front, lateral, middle, and posterior, rear deltoid. If you want that 3D look, you need to target all three parts evenly. Here's why. The anterior deltoid helps with shoulder flexion, like when you raise your arm in front of you. The lateral deltoid is responsible for abduction or raising your arms out to the side, which is key for width. The posterior deltoid helps with shoulder extension and horizontal abduction, which contributes to the rear shoulder and overall balance. As you can see, each part of the deltoid plays a different role in shoulder movement and aesthetics. Targeting all three of these areas will give you that full 3D effect, not just a bulky front or rear. Now, let's talk science. To build muscle, including your delts, we need to apply three main principles. Progressive overload, adequate volume, and recovery. Progressive overload means gradually increasing the weight, reps, or intensity of your exercises to push your muscles beyond their current capacity. This is how we stimulate muscle growth. Volume refers to the total amount of work done in a workout typically sets times reps times weight. Studies suggest that around 10 to 20 sets per week per muscle group is ideal for hypertrophy or muscle growth. Recovery is just as important. Your muscles grow when you're resting, not when you're lifting. Getting enough sleep and taking rest days is crucial for optimal growth. Without enough recovery, your muscles won't repair and grow no matter how hard you train. So what exercises should you be doing to build 3D delts? Let's break it down by each part of the deltoid muscle. For the anterior delts, exercises like the barbell overhead press and dumbbell front raises are essential. These movements are great for developing the front of your shoulder and building overall mass. Performing a barbell overhead press with good form helps target both the anterior delts and the upper chest and it allows you to load up heavy weights for maximum muscle recruitment. Next, for the lateral delts, the key to width, exercises like lateral raises are your best friend. But here's the science behind them. To hit the lateral deltoid effectively, you need to keep a slight bend in your elbow and avoid using momentum. Focus on lifting the weight with your delts, not your traps. To maximize the lateral deltoid activation, Try doing cable lateral raises for constant tension or dumbbell raise into pause for a better contraction. For the posterior deltoids, you'll want to focus on pulling movements. Think reverse flies or face pulls. These exercises help balance out the front and middle deltoids while also developing your rear shoulder. It's crucial not to neglect this area to avoid muscle imbalances. Reverse flies can be done on a machine or with dumbbells, and face pulls, done with a rope attachment on a cable machine, help to strengthen the posterior delts while also improving shoulder health and stability. To summarise, getting 3D delts isn't just about lifting heavy weights. It's about hitting all three parts of your deltoids, applying the principles of muscle growth, and giving your body the rest and fuel it needs to grow. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more science-based fitness tips, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more in-depth tutorials on specific exercises or muscle groups. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.